transformation of functions. So we're going to continue working on these transformations. Uh, we have done a vertical shift. And remember, it was outside um, the X. Um, the next ones we're going to look at are horizontal shifts. And our shift is inside with the X in the function. Uh, when you have that, these shift in the opposite direction. So if it says X plus C, it's going to shift to the left. If it says X minus C, it's going to shift to the right. We have an X cubed graph. This is the standard one that's drawn on your work. And we want to draw X minus 1 cubed. And so minus 1, it's inside with the X. It's going to shift us to the right one unit. This would be one that's easy enough to move from the graph. You already have your graph. You want to shift it one unit to the right. So your points, this was a point. It's going to go here now. Um, this one, it's going to go here now. This one is going to go here now. Uh, this one will go here. And this one will go. And now we will just connect those. It should look the same as our other cube graph. It's just moved over one unit to the right. But it's still a cube graph that wasn't supposed to cover back in. For our next graph, um, our general graph is the square root of x. And we want to do the square root of x plus 2. The plus 2 is underneath with the x, so it will be a horizontal shift. It's plus 2, so it's going to move to the left 2. So each point will move to the left 2. This one will go 2. This one will go 2. This one will go 2. Our point that's farther out here, so we could have one more, uh, would be at 9. Um, the square root of 9, if x equals 9, right, and you take the square root of 9, it's a 3. So this is 7, 8, 9, 8. That would have been right about here, so if we move it, to the left two we go here and now we can draw it is a square root graph for this next one we have two things to do we have an x movement to do which actually is the same graph we had above um, it has plus two in with the x so that is going to shift to the left two And then we have a minus 1 that's outside the radical. So that's going to be a vertical movement. And it's going to go down 1. So when you have more than one thing to do, the first thing you will do will be a horizontal shift. Um, then you will do a stretch or shrink, reflection, and vertical shift last. So we just have two things. We have horizontal shift and then our vertical shift will be last. So first we will do this, and then we will do this. So we'll do it first just from the graph. So we're going to go down left 2 and down 1, each point. So we're going to go left 2, 1, 2, down 1. Make your point. All right, that was for this point. From this one, we're going to go left 2, down 1. Okay, we're out to this third point. We're going to go left 2, down 1. All right, and remember the one, it was at 9. So it would have been a couple more out here. 9, 3, we were here. And we want to go left 2, which would get us to 7, and down 1. So we don't really have this one out here. I was doing that to help us draw. So then we connect our graph. 
graph. I'm going to backtrack and do this with tables um, and we should get the same points that we have on that last one. So if we did an original table for square root of x, right? So we did 0, square root of 0 is 0. We did 1, square root of 1 is 1. Then we used perfect squares, remember? Uh, square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 9 is 3. All right, so that's for our original square root graph, right? If we're going to subtract 2 from the x's, right, the x's are going to change. So 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7. I can actually go ahead and do my y's here because those were two separate things. Uh, they didn't both happen to the same variable. And so now my y's, uh, they are going to do minus 1. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So our new points should have landed at these coordinates. Let's check. Negative 2, negative 1, that's this point. Negative 1, 0, second point. 2, 1, 2, 1, that point. And 7, 2, 7, 2. So that's just kind of a double check. You don't need to do both, but I wanted to show you how to do both.